All right. <clears throat> Gonna go out here and get ready to go hunting. It's about 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Pouring down rain. But we're gonna go out here and see if we can find some whitetail. Maybe a big mule deer. I got my eyes on this four star whitetail. I've been checking on him. But I don't know uh, exactly when he's gonna turn, you know. keep checking but I think we're gonna go on a little hunt here first before I check him give us some more time I had another four star mule deer I've been checking him but I last two times I checked Last two times I checked, I couldn't couldn't get eyes on him. So I don't know if he passed on or what. But I don't think he did. So we're gonna go out here and see if he's out here at this watering hole. destination yeah I think I'm gonna use the 270 I'm gonna take the 3030 open sights try to get up close to some of these deer if I don't see any big ones I'm just gonna try to do some management hunting on this group so I'm gonna hunt this uh, river bed this river uh, bed over here and walk it and just see what I run into I'm not gonna really hunt any zones I'm just gonna walk come up on a couple mule deer both of them need taken out, really. I'm going to see if I can do some calling. See if I can get them to come in. might be a little too far away yeah maybe not they might come in just have to give it a second here and see what happens call to them one more time see what happens should come in yeah here comes that mature one of them I didn't see him the one down here I didn't see I thought it was that one but this one here has to be low fitness too oh all these bucks are my lord I 
there's three or four of them in here bad genetics I want to try to kill something with this 3030 close range I don't know why he didn't come they might be out of range these two here are acting like they're coming but <clears throat> I've lost sight of them <coughs> trying to get them turned around here guess I'll concentrate on this one here one star mature like a good shot yeah it looks like he's down already yeah, pretty good 30 30 that's about a hundred yards probably open sights I've come up on some more mule deer a couple of them in here need taken out low genetics I think it's that same herd that I just shot that one at See if I can get one to respond. But I think this is the group I just shot that one at, like I said, so I don't know. When I first come up here, they was acting pretty spooked, moving around and stuff. I'm just going to see if I can get one of them to come towards me. Use that 30-30 again. If not, I'll take them out from here try to <laughs> might not be possible with open sights because I can hardly see them okay we got a taker nice looking buck two star mature he'd probably be a big four before he's all done there's a one star mature try to use 30-30 again if I can get him in closer Yeah, he ain't a bad looking muley buck at all, is he? That one there is a little off on the left side. 
Man, we got another one coming. Man, this herd here seems like it might be able to be something. I gotta do something fast. He's coming in quick. He's going down. I got a good shot on him. I shot that second shot. I wasn't. I thought I hit him kind of low, but <clears throat> he's going down. This 30-30 ain't too powerful, but if you can get him in close enough, it does pretty good. Got a nice rack on him. And it wasn't low at all. <clears throat> that was a good shot. I'm surprised that deer went that far. I mean, it totally took that left lung out. Plus an artery. So. Decent rack on him. Yeah, I've crept back up in here on these deer. I don't even think I'm going to have to call this one. I might be able to get a shot, open sights. If I can get a good angle on him. I think this is a one or two star mature. Star mature. Look like a good shot. Give him a second and we'll go check it out. Where you at, buddy? Where you at, buddy? Right there he is. Yeah, I just don't want to spook them other ones. So try to be a little careful here. I want to try to take that other one out. Ooh. That wasn't the shot I thought. I mean, I thought I shot him right in the middle of the lungs. But I could have pulled it. Pulled the shot or something. But it was still a good shot. I only got one lung. If I hit him where I thought I did, it would have been both lungs. But we got an artery too, so. All right, I've caught back up with them. We got that two-star mature right here, about 70 yards. But I got to be real careful because they've already been acting like they know I'm here. Okay, here we go. Got him. I couldn't get set up on him because of the trees and stuff I couldn't pinpoint where I wanted to be so it took a second yeah they run pretty good ways with this 30-30 
Even if you get good long shots, they run. Just not a whole lot of power. Even in real life. It's a bush gun. You want to... I've hunted with them before. You want to hunt close. You want to ambush them with that gun. Be close to them. What? I shot this deer. <laughs> some other time at least twice with the 270 and missed him probably running that shot right there should have killed that deer look at that that should have killed that deer well this deer shouldn't have three bullets in it because the first shot killed it I mean that's clearly destroyed that long And almost got the heart. So, that's got to do with the game. Second shot. Yeah, that second shot grazed him. 270. Well, 300, almost 400 yards. What was this other shot? 155 yards. And this shot here was after he got settled down. And I shot at him again. But this here is the 30-30. Now that was a good shot. Open sights. And that's what I mean. These deer run off pretty far with this 30-30. But it almost went clear through him. But the expansion and stuff didn't... I guess didn't really bother the other long to blow it up. So that's probably why. Alright, how y'all doing? I got eyes on that five star that I've been checking on. There's a big four in here and a big five. So, I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because they're traveling. They're going to a rest zone which is a pretty far distance from here so I've got to figure out what I'm doing how I can get on him because I've been tracking them like this for 10 minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes probably they keep walking this ridge line and I'm on the other side of this creek just Keeping enough distance where I don't spook them, but watching where they go. But yeah, he's a five now. I've been checking him for two days. So I definitely don't want to mess this up. Because the last two uh, five stars I missed out on. I just couldn't find them, so I guess they passed on. So this here is going to be a stalk on a five star. I just want to get eyes on them. definitely don't want to spook them because I'm getting closer to them now they've kind of slowed down but they've been moving at a pretty good pace along this ridge side of this mountain here and I need to get into an opening to where I can get a shot it's so thick yeah they got their tails up see I've spooked them definitely ain't what I want now I just got to be still so they'll calm down. Because they know I'm down here now. Well, I don't know if they know where I'm at, but I've spooked them. Trying to get a little closer to them because it's so thick I can't see up in there. 
But anyway, we're stalking a five star. There's a big four star in here too. So, uh, just got to play our cards right. <clears throat> Okay, they've settled down. But now that I've done alerted them one time, I've got to be more careful. Because it ain't going to be long if you alert them another time, they might take off. That's that four star. There he is. I wonder if I could call him in and shoot him with the 30-30. That'd be pretty good. this I cannot believe it he's coming he was I don't know what happened let's see here he turned around like he was coming big old white tail Big old white tail. He's got a deep old grunt on him. That's that four star. Where is he at? Yep, he's coming. He's coming right here. I didn't see him, but he's coming down the hill. He's right in front of this. Uh, he's over on the other side of this little hill here. I got a call again. Hope I didn't mess that up. Because I waited too long. Because I don't see them. They didn't call back. Yeah, I see. Not interested. Yeah, if you mess that calling up, they'll, they'll quit coming. No, I did. I waited too long. Try it again here. Because he's going to turn around and walk back up that hill. get some cover he's coming that big five star here oh yeah oh yeah <clears throat> man if I can take him with this 30 30 open sights oh yeah I'm actually nervous I think he's down. I think he's down right there. He was only 30 yards, 29 yards or something. Oh, yeah. I feel good. With Grandpa's 30-30 open sights. Five-star. Massive whitetail. Did you see the rack on that thing when it was coming at me? 
Jeez, old Pete. I'm nervous. Like I was in a real hunt. Whew. Oh, he's down right there. Oh, my Lord. What a hunt. What a shot. Oh, man. Look at that beautiful buck. Mm. Let's pick him up. Heart shot, both lungs and an artery. I cleaned this guy's clock with a 30-30. 24 yards. Called him in. Mm, what a hunt. Okay, let's check him out here. 91 on the genetics. So he was big as he was going to get. Check score out. 466. 500 to max. Nice. Distance fled, 11 yards. Massive whitetail. Fourteen pointer. Just barely grazed the heart, but got it. Well, it wasn't a graze. It did go in it, okay? Both lungs and an artery. This dude was done. And I'm glad he's done with me instead of him going off and dying and me not getting him because my last two bucks, a mule deer and a whitetail, I just I lost track of them. I couldn't find them, and I was checking them. But I stayed up on checking this guy. And there's another big four star in there too. So be checking him. Okay, taxidermist. Here we come. Well, I pounded him. What a shot. 30-30. All right, well... <clears throat> We killed some mule deer, killed a big old whitetail that I've been tracking for two or three days, and uh, like and subscribe, and I'll get back with you next time I'm out hunting. Take care.